I do this for a living. You don't. I tell you how this works. I am not asking you. I am telling you. Give me your driver's license. I just, I have such a disdain for people like him. If you will let me speak and then I'll let you speak, is that all right? No. Do you normally threaten to put people out of the car just for them asking why they got pulled over? 100% yeah. when they refuse to provide identification like ass. you did. Just so you know, my uh, sergeant is Sergeant Erickson. He's the person that you're going to... Welcome back to the Lackluster channel. You've probably seen the shows Cops, Body Cam, On Patrol, and Live PD. In these programs, most of the arrests are victims to the war on drugs and various other victimless crimes. The officers are the protagonists, there to save the day from a dangerous world. And we now see independent agencies across the US spending millions of tax dollar money to pump out their own programming, often to share critical incidents with the public. But are these departments creating shows to control the narrative and prevent the full records from being released. A single incident may have hours of footage, all cut down to a 15 minute presentation. I've attempted to request all records for many incidents, and I am often told instead to watch their YouTube presentation, where they've been able to craft the story into one of their own, and often you never see the end result past their editing. In many cases the suspects are proven not guilty, departments and officers alike get sued, but all you remember is the program, which is exactly what it's intended to do. Before we continue, the other day I shared just how expensive body cam footage can get. In that video, I spent $200 for the records and they blurred everything. So to help soothe the pain associated with having to pay so much, I've had to think outside the box. YouGov has been an excellent sponsor to the channel over the years, and I use them because they're a free and easy way to earn cash and gift cards, just for sharing my opinion. The side hustle is easy. As a member, you earn points for giving your opinions by completing short surveys and polls. I usually do them while waiting for a video to render or upload to YouTube. They're easy and the topics are interesting. So click my link in the description and pinned comment to take surveys and earn cash on YouGov. We've seen the commercial versions of these shows wither away, but some agencies have created their very own hero series. The Penal County Sheriff's Office has not yet equipped its deputies with body cams, but Sheriff Mark Lamb has created his very own subscription-based TV show featuring his deputies. They also host a YouTube channel that features various segments. One of the most popular stars is Deputy Frank Slope, who appears on their semi-popular show Fridays with Frank. In most of the episodes, Slope seems fair and can be quite likable at times, but in episode 33, Slope has set up a speed trap. Fuck it. After a few minutes, he catches a local resident, Nate, allegedly speeding. 71, my lane. Passing all these cars. Let's get a good look. Chrysler. That guy right there. 71 at a thousand feet. Nice. Perfect. Alright, I'll keep it up there so you can take a picture of it. I feel like this guy knows what's about to happen. Oh yeah. As they pull Nate over, Deputy Slope tells his passenger that he doesn't need to fasten his seatbelt, and it appears that Deputy Slope doesn't have his fastened either, confirmed by the audible chime in the dashcam video. I don't know why you put your seatbelt on. We're not going anywhere. That's true. Well, this turns into a pursuit, then we are. Eventually, Nate, Slope, and the cameraman are pulled off to the side of the road. See your driver's license, please. Yes, sir. Can I ask what you pull over for? Absolutely. As soon as you see your driver's license, I will be very happy to tell you. That's not how it works. It can tell, first of all, what's your name and your badge number? I'm sorry. I do this for a living. You don't. I tell you how this works. No. Let me see your driver's license or I'm going to pull you out of your car and arrest you for failing to provide ID. This is a legal request. I don't want to hear any other words out of your mouth except here's my driver's license. Please. Deputy Slope is technically correct. There are no laws in Arizona that force a law enforcement officer to tell you the reason that they pulled you over. Some agencies across the United States have policies that demand an officer explain the reason for the stop, but when I asked the Pino County Sheriff's Office for documentation that covers the policies and procedures governing a deputy's behavior during a traffic stop, they claimed that there are no policies on how a deputy should conduct himself on a traffic stop. There is, however, both the United States Congress 
constitution and case law that are relevant. When you are pulled over, the officer usually has probable cause to believe that you have already committed a crime or infraction, and during a lawful traffic stop, you are required to provide the officer with your license, registration, and insurance documents. That being said, under the Fourth Amendment, we the people are supposed to be secure in our persons, houses, papers, and effects against unreasonable searches and seizures. The term probable cause is derived from that Fourth Amendment where it states, and no warrants shall issue but upon probable cause supported by oath or affirmation. And considering all of the above, it seems more than reasonable that an officer should have to articulate their reasonable suspicion or probable cause to a driver prior to demanding he surrenders his right to privacy from invasion by state agents. But, as you'll see, Deputy Slope feels that you should have to surrender your papers any time an officer pulls you over, surrendering your Fourth Amendment rights first, without knowing why or if the officer is operating within the constitutional limitations to his authority. Nate now begins to record on his cell phone. Can you say it again? Absolutely. I need your driver's license so I know who you are. I am not asking you. I am telling you. Give me your driver's license. My name is Nathan. I don't want your name. I want a physical ID as required by Arizona law. I am asking you when I'm getting pulled over. I will tell you as soon as I see your driver's license. Okay. I will gladly give you my license, officer. Usually, I get some identification of the reason why I'm getting pulled over. That's usually how it works. All right. Well, I'm Deputy Slope. I work for the Pinal County Sheriff's Office Traffic Unit. The reason I stopped you is you're traveling 71 miles an hour in a posted 45 mile per hour zone. We also see registration and current proof insurance. Yes, sir. Can I read some of my glove box? That's, unless it's going to magically appear in your hands, you would have to, right? All of your information is still current, still living in Mesa? I don't answer any questions. Okay. And I had to get on my phone. You're the one who decided that it needed to be recording, so you could also use it to provide current proof insurance. He wants me to update me. Are you required to provide it in a amount of time that would be right it's coming up right now okay it's giving me 15 mm -hmm. so while i'm sitting here and i am a public servant is there any other questions i can answer for you reference our contact okay just want to make sure You keep working on that. Deputy Slope now returns to his cruiser to share his thoughts with his cameraman and to write Nate a citation. <laughs> I, I just, I have such a disdain for people like him. Just that, that condescending, arrogant tone. I, I just, there's no, there's no reason to be confrontational like that. There was no part of my contact with him was confrontational. Super simple and cordial, and he just, for some reason, just can't seem to understand that there's a sequence of events that transpires here in Pinal County. And if he doesn't like that, maybe he needs to move back to Mesa. This is why I urge you to always record your interactions with law enforcement. Deputy Slope somehow feels that it was Nate that initiated the aggressive attitude. See your driver's license, please. Yes, sir. Can I ask what you pulled for? Absolutely. As soon as I see your driver's license, I will be very happy to tell you. That's not how it works. If, can you tell, first of all, what's your name and your badge number? I'm sorry. I do this for a living. You don't. I tell you how this works. No. Let me see your driver's license or I'm going to pull you out of your car and arrest you for failing to provide ID. The cameraman now questions Slope about the stop. He started his phone recording so he could record me. I don't think he knows that he's being recorded. Um, like there's going to be something that I'm going to do that's improper in any way. But he, he felt the need to record me. And as soon as he recorded me and I asked him, hey, 
I need your driver's license. He's like, I'd be happy to give it to you. But before that, when he wasn't recording me, he absolutely wouldn't. So it's, uh, that's why you just, you can't believe everything that you see online is because there was that whole entire contact that happened and then he starts to record and all of a sudden he's just the nicest guy and I'm this big mean guy that's just demanding stuff. What are we gonna do to him? So, well, no matter what, I mean, he was gonna get a citation before I stopped him just based on how fast he is above the speed limit. So, and that hasn't changed. He's still going to get a citation for, um, for his speed. Just, uh, you know, I would imagine he will interpret the fact that he's getting a ticket as a result of his terrible attitude when really it's just the fact that he is just violating Arizona Motor Vehicle Law. The next section of video cuts off mid-sentence. When I received it, I wrote to the records division to inform them that they had provided an incomplete record. Their response was that the record no longer exists. With the GoPro, he lifts what they need and deletes the rest to save storage, which means they deleted evidence prior to the court date for the citation. And out of nearly 25 minutes of footage, this was the only part they removed. Not to mention, they didn't use a GoPro. The video cuts and picks back up as the deputy returns to Nate's vehicle. After I locked him in on this, I watched him drive past me, never lost sight of him, pulled in right behind him. So I'm sure this is the type of guy that wants to find some sort of, I don't know, something to fight in this. And it just isn't there. It's just, it's not, this instrument is accurate. Right, kind sir. Can I have a contact phone number for you with an area code first, please? Sure, absolutely. Okay. Well, all those... supervisor? No. No, you can contact one by phone. If I'm requesting a supervisor, you're denying you can, I can give you the contact phone number yeah, for the sheriff's office. Absolutely. It's area code 520-866-5912. Yep. Do you normally... Just a couple questions for you. Do you normally threaten to put people out of the car just for them asking why they got pulled over? One hundred percent. When they refuse to provide identification like a, you did. But isn't that a secondary offense? Arizona is not a stop and ID state. Um, like I asked you why I was being pulled that's over, correct. and you didn't want to tell me until I use it as a predecessor. That's you correct. Because I need to know who I'm talking to first. Well, hold on a second. Go ahead. Her civil rights and laws. Oh, okay. And yeah, unless I am being arrested. Or unless I'm being well, accused. failing to Hold provide you, failing you, to provide oh, evidence of identity is a criminal offense. No, it's a secondary offense. Doesn't matter. It is. It's it an offense. Matter. It doesn't. Officer Stoop, if, if you want, if you will let me speak, and then I'll let you speak, is that all right? No. You don't want to let me speak. No. Okay. No, I'm not here for a back and forth. Uh, well, this isn't I talking, you talk. You can't, you it, can't, it is absolutely. Normally, it is. per the civil rights, per fourth this amendment. This has nothing to do with civil does. rights. Per the Fourth Amendment of the Constitution of the United States, which you hold an oath to uphold, you. Can, I know it's very, very disappointing because I like to follow the rules too. Obviously, I'm not breaking some sort of rules. However, well, you like to follow rules except for speed limits I, I, that you I don't like to it's, follow. It's, it's objective or subjective. That's the that's the curse here. Okay, so if if so, we're gonna, if we want to play word games, we can play word games here. We can. We can play word games as long as you want. Absolutely. All I'm asking for is that per the Fourth Amendment of the Constitution of the United States, I'm securing my own rights to hold my identity. Unless, especially in a state that's not a stop and ID state. Aren't you supposed to tell me why you're pulling me over? Absolutely. Okay. I, I have no no, uh, there is absolutely no requirement for me to tell you. I told you as a common courtesy because it's what I normally do during traffic stops. I know, but it's what you normally do. That's not what the law says you do. It is not a law. It is. It's not a stop and ID state. It is. It's not a law. Okay. Uh, we, have so, a, we have a difference. We, we can, we can take, agree that uh, and you are certainly going to get one. So. All the information up at the top is yours. Vehicle's information's here. It says today at 10.05, you're 71 and a posted 45. Now RMP stands for reasonable and prudent. And that's what the speed limit is. And you're 71 miles an hour and a posted 45. Got you on laser, the most accurate of all speed detection devices. Do you have a printout? Um, I'm sorry? Do you have a printout or a screenshot? No, I have a screenshot, yes. Can I have that? You cannot. Okay. Um, because I have no way to print it out in my car. Okay. So uh, the direction you're facing right now is eastbound in the number one lane. State Route 24 at Meridian was the closest intersection. Your citation is for speed greater than reasonable and prudent. You're cited into the Santan Justice Court, which is located up in Chandler. You have a court date only if you wish to appear on the first day of November at 9 o'clock in the morning. If not, 
You can phone number right here, leads you to the court. Knowledgeable court staff there will be able to answer any questions you have, including giving you any sort of information on traffic school. This right here is the driver's license, the registration to which you provided, and an exact carbon copy of the citation. All right, any further questions I can answer for you today, sir? No. All right. And uh, just so you know, my uh, sergeant is Sergeant Erickson. He's the person that you're going to... Thanks for putting your window up. They say you don't want to talk to me anymore. <laughs> oh my god, what a... F Dude. I know. You can go pull him over. Yeah! What, what happened to his camera? Oh. Um, so the camera was running. He had it propped up there, and it was recording him, and I think that he has a... He's got a little issue with the definition of what law is. Um, and I mean, the Fourth Amendment obviously applies because I temporarily seized him during a traffic stop and he yielded to my authority. Um, but I don't think he understands exactly that me telling him why I pulled him over has nothing to do with the Fourth Amendment. Like, I don't think that that's in there anywhere. Um, I really hope that this goes to court. I hope, I hope with every fiber of my being that I get to go and see him again. Um, because there's not a judge anywhere in the state of Arizona that would entertain that tomfoolery that just happened there. So hopefully I'll get to see him again, and then we'll, uh, we'll have another cordial conversation. So, let's see. Nate did indeed appear in court to contest the citation. Deputy Slope never entered the ticket, nor did he show up and the citation was vacated. As for the seatbelt violations for the deputies and cameraman, there is no word that any have been filed with the courts either.